Welcome back to That Dead Guy. Today's video is going to be on stamps. So uh, if you saw my last video, it showed you some of these stamp albums. This time I want to focus a little bit more on the collection. My dad has uh, put together all those binders there and down there. Um, I've got his uh, collection over at the house now. So I thought I would uh, show a little bit of it. Specifically, and we get right there, those binders. We're going to flip it around here. And then you can see these binders here are the Canadian um, stamp collection that he has up until 2011. So I thought maybe I would show you a few of those, see if you're interested. So let's have a look. So we talked about these Unity Canada stamp albums um, in a previous video. So this is how you first start out. This is volume one. So this is the earliest Canadian stamps. Now you can see the coat of arms of the provinces at the top. And when you start on page one, there is the very first Canadian stamp. The Red Beaver that came out in April 23rd, 1851. As you can see, my father does not have that stamp. Nor does he have any of these five stamps on the first page. And then the second page, he doesn't have any of these stamps as well. So they are a little bit more pricey and he wasn't much into buying stamps. So if he didn't acquire it another way, um, he didn't get it. So this is actually the first stamp that he does have. So the Rose Portrait of Queen Victoria came out in July, 1859. And then he got the Vermilion Beaver in July of 1859 as well. Those are both uh, ones he does have in the collection. You can see if it looks like this, it's just a picture of the stamp. If it looks like this, it is the actual stamp. It's got a little plastic covering that goes over top of it. And then he's getting a few more. On this page, he's got three of them. So he's got the olive green, the green, and the black of Queen Victoria in 1868. And here are a few more. So there is some gaps to fill. Here he's actually got a couple of the same stamp. So he's put two in there. So he's got 1870. He's got two of them. Let me put that back. There we go. So this page, he actually has done quite well. He's got everything on this page from 1882, 1870 up. And same with here. Now some of the conditioning, you can see this one here. He's got the stamp, but the conditioning is very poor. But that again, the stamp is you know, 125 years old, so. Here we're going a little bit more. You can tell the stamps mostly are of royalty at this stage of the game in Canadian history. Uh, Queen Victoria adorns a lot of these stamps. He's got quite a few of them. Now we're, we're into the 1890s. For those of you who are stamp collectors out there, you will uh, maybe appreciate these a bit more. Those of you who are post crossers, it may not be as interesting for you. But who knows? Oh, there's a page in there. These ones are almost the first ones you're seeing. You see the dark blue Champlain's home in Quebec. We're now getting some pictorials uh, to go along with the royalty. George to the fifth territory. This could take forever if we went page by page in all of these, but I did want to give you an idea what early Canadian stamps looked like and uh, how Dad's collection had come. Now these are coil issues, uh, two of the same attached together. He doesn't have any of these ones. And then we're back into some more um, pictorials the 1820s or 1920s, excuse me. But the images are starting to get better, more quality to them. Really like this one from 1929 of the Blue Nose Schooner. Or the Quebec Bridge here, which you've seen on some of uh, some postcards that have gone out. These are classic images. 
the George the Fifth collection, or I would in the 1930s. Quite interesting when you think of today's stamps and all the uh, varieties. And of course, back then, these are all uh, ones that you would have adhesive on the back to lick to, to put on versus uh, today's Canadian stamps are more stickers that go on. And the images are getting bigger and you can also see the value here in 1933, it only cost five cents. There's a one cent. I should have mentioned that with some of the earlier ones, two, three cents. Silver Jubilee, George V. George the sixth in the 1930s. And here we've got Princess Elizabeth and Margaret Rose, 1939. So early Princess Elizabeth, soon to be queen. her first introductory Canadian stamp, or that would have been her first introductory Canadian stamp. And once again, we're into coils again, which she does not have. Here we're at the end of the Second World War in 1946. We've got some farming stamps that have come out. Here we see Princess Elizabeth in 1948, four cent stamp. Some more. Portrait stamps in the 1950s. So here you can see the uh, reduced three pence beaver stamp of 1951. It's a throwback of the original beaver stamp that I showed you there at the very beginning. Here we've got Princess Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh in 1951. So they're making their start to these stamps. And then we've got some. Bordens and some Mackenzies and some uh, Prime Minister stamps starting to take effect. And here we go. This is coronation stamp. So 1953, June, Queen Elizabeth. So this is her first as queen as a four cent stamp on uh, a Canadian stamp. And then her regal series. So that takes you from uh, the 1800s. You, know, you can see how much more in, the book, in volume one we have to go, but I'm going to flip back here. It takes us to 1953. And starting in 1851, there's that red beaver stamp, uh, which isn't in the collection, but three cents at the time. And there's the red beaver. So there are two stamps, both Red Beaver. This one came out in 1851. This one would be more in 1855, but the same stamp. You have to just watch for the coloration difference. So there was something a little bit different. Uh, that is a snapshot of uh, Canadian stamps from the 1850 initiation of the first stamp up until the coronation of Queen Elizabeth in 1953. And then we can go further from there if that's something you're interested in. This is just kind of a sample 
I thought I would try something different. Um, we've got, we've had post crossing, we've had Lego, we've had adventure story. I just wanted to uh, mix it up and seeing how, uh, stamps seems to go nicely with post crossing. I thought maybe you would like to see how, uh, stamps basically began in Canada and how they're progressing through the years. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy this and we'll talk to you soon. Stay safe. What follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?